Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Uh, really good to have you join me today. I want to take a few moments to talk to you about confidence. How confident are you? Are you a confident person? Maybe you're somebody that suffers with a lack of confidence. I think um, yeah, there's different degrees and different levels of confidence, eh? and sometimes it depends on what's going on in your life. Sometimes it depends on uh, age and, and all kinds of stuff. Maybe when you've got a bit more experience in life, you feel a bit more confident and so on and so forth. Maybe when you've worked at that job for a bit longer, um, you tend to have a bit more confidence. But uh, I, I think I think confidence it can be a bit more personal as well, and and, and it can. It's almost like a character trait in a person. Are you a confident person or are you um, someone who, who lacks confidence? You, you, know, you haven't got that so much confidence. I, I, I was reading some stuff about it the other day and I read this, this line and I thought it was quite interesting. It says, confidence isn't walking into a room thinking you are better than everyone. It's walking in and not having to compare yourself to anyone. So confidence isn't about going into a room and thinking you're better than everybody. And, and I think, yeah, I think that's, that's an interesting thought, eh? Um, probably because I don't, I don't understand confidence from um, having a, a massive confidence in myself. Um, when I think about confidence, I think, yeah, it's going, it's going into a place and, and you're like a kind of a cut above everybody else, you know? Uh, you kind of exude confidence. You know your stuff and... Um, so on and so forth, there's that saying again. Um, but I'm probably looking at it from a perspective of not really understanding the subject sufficiently. Um, so, but going back to this quote, it's saying, it's not going into a room and thinking you're better than everybody. Uh, and, and actually, a good, confident person that you would respect would be someone that's still humble enough to uh, carry their confidence well. So... I think if you're like me, looking to grow in your confidence and, and um, just not be so hard on myself and uh, yeah, worrying about what everybody's thinking all the time, just having enough confidence in myself that I carry myself well. If you're that kind of person, I think carrying yourself well will also has to include some form of humility. Uh, you don't go into a room and think that you're better than everybody else. Um, but you're able to go into that room and knowing that you don't have to compare yourself to everybody else. And again, <laughs> that's something I, I'm very good at doing. You know, I, I, um, I'm in the ministry, I meet with other pastors and yeah, not physically, but subconsciously, I'm kind of thinking, uh, these guys have got bigger churches and, and they've been in the ministry for a long time and listen to their stories. And you kind of think, yeah, everyone around you is kind of better than you. Whereas if, if you go into the room as a confident person with the right kind of character traits and that humility and yeah, you can go in there and you don't have to compare yourself. Uh, a confident person doesn't have to compare themselves. They, they know who they are. They know what they've achieved. They know that they're still trying to learn in life and uh, they haven't learned everything yet, but they're, they're growing, they're moving in the right direction uh, and they're able to carry themselves with that kind of level of confidence. So that's what I, I want to work towards in life. So how do you do that? How do you become a more confident person where you can kind of um, yeah, mix it with the rest of the, of the, of the confident people around and, and hold your own, so to speak? And I think, I think we need to keep ourselves in a place of learning, um, keep ourselves fresh and, you know, as far as keeping ourselves up to date with what's going on in the world. Um, yeah, knowing, knowing what's going on in the world and, and having a, a voice on those things, really thinking things through. Um, obviously, it's not enough to just yeah, watch the news and think you're an expert. Yeah, you've got to start questioning things. In my last post, I talked about questioning things. Yeah, we've got to be able to kind of think things through. And, yeah, and then when you go into those kind of social um, settings, you can kind of hold a conversation with people and you can share your opinion. Uh, and share your views on stuff. I think that helps build confidence when you know uh, you've kind of researched things and questioned things sufficiently. Um, yeah, I think you do need to keep learning. Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm in my mid-50s now, but I'm still learning. I'm still exploring how to understand life better, how to understand my emotions better, and um, how to really make a go of life. And, and I think we need to keep ourselves in that place where we, we uh, continue to learn. 
we've obviously thought about humility. We a good kind of confident person that we would look up to and admire is someone who is still humble. Yeah, they're not arrogant with their confidence. I think we need to we need to challenge ourselves, uh, and we need to achieve those things that we're challenging ourselves with. And uh, the best way to do that is to set ourselves goals in life, things that we want to accomplish in life, and yeah, make sure that those goals are achievable. That yeah, we we don't set ourselves goals that's just impossible to reach. Um, yeah, when you're learning to run, you don't go from naught to naught miles to oh, I'm going to do ten miles this week. You know, you, you start off slowly, you set yourself some small goals, uh, and you work towards your end goal. And I think we need to do more of that in life. And the more that we actually accomplish our goals, uh, I believe the greater confidence we're going to have in ourselves. We're, you're going to look at ourselves and we're going to think, yeah, I've 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 also accomplished. Um, so you're about to go into those settings not with an arrogance. Um, but just with that confidence that I am progressing in life. And I think that's going to make all the difference. Anyway, guys, um, just a few thoughts on the whole subject of confidence. Now, obviously, I, I read quite a bit of stuff. I listen to a lot of podcasts. So uh, as this stuff comes up and I'm thinking about it, I'm processing the stuff. I, I, uh, I'd like to share more of it with you, with you guys. But I'd also like to know what you think on the subject uh, on the various different subjects that I talk about. So do do please like my video and share my videos and, and leave some comments. And um, your comments often will um, prompt my um, exploration in life, if I, if that's the right word, where I kind of look at what you're saying and then I kind of explore around the subject a bit more. So uh, please do comment because you're all helping me kind of grow in my own understanding in life. So uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in, guys, and I'll speak to you again soon. Bless you guys.